<clears throat> Shoot. That is just so tight. Nope. Wow, I might have to cut that. Replace this line because I cannot get it. down that way so if I had that off it would come off but I'll have to replace this line all right I had movement there let's see That's, I need that piece also for my new hose. All right. I've got to clean up this place. I just, I sanded that off and painted it. So I'm going to take time to clean up my garage. It's been really... Well, I don't know if I told you or not, but it's fall, winter's coming, and it's going to start getting cold out here. But I'll keep working. So right now, I have, uh, I cleaned that up. I painted. So I'm ready to put the uh, front suspension back together. But, before I put my front suspension together, I got a first, I can't remember how it came apart, so I have to go watch my videos, see how it goes together. I do know, I have to take this bearing, and I got to get it pushed in, pressed in here. Then once I get that done, then I got to press this into there. And then that part will be ready. The lower control arm will be ready. Like I said earlier, fall's here, winter's coming. It's colder out right now. Alright, I'm set up to push this bushing into my lower control arm here. I have my little press and I got my 4 ton hydraulic pump set up. So I've got my bushing sitting right here. I just want to put some oil on it first before I go and uh, push it on in everything needs to be straight the way this works Tight. Let's take some measurements and make sure. It's definitely tight. I got it lubed up, oiled up, much more. I put it in the freezer for a while. It might just be going in, but I gotta get this thing down here. I think it's going in. Oop. It's 
been in my battle. Look at that. It's almost there, just an eighth, not even an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch probably, and it'll be butted up against. And then it's never coming out. At least I hope it doesn't have to in my time. Here we go. There. I got it! I got it! Okay, that's one. Second, I've got to get this pushed in there. Hopefully without pushing everything out the back. Did you see this little uh, metal ring that's inside? then a rubber bushing, then the metal ring that I just uh, pressed in. I think you can see that, yeah. I don't want that inside metal ring to be pushing out the back while I'm trying to push this thing in. So I'm taking a socket that's just about the same size as that ring in there, 
but it will also fit through the back hole on this thing and hopefully that will hold that ring from pressing on through so I'm going to go like this like this and then my hydraulic, hydraulic ram again like that That's what I thought it's going to be in the way of the camera now. I'll have to uh, move my camera. I don't like having my head down here when I'm pumping it. Looks like it's bending my plate steel back there. It's not moving in very good. I think I'm going to undo it and put some more oil back in the, this way. Half inch. Man. This thing is really going in tight. I don't like it. Ooh, well, it's going in. We're like three eighths. I went in an eighth of an inch. Boy, it's a toughie. There we are. Oh yeah, I think it's pressed in as far as it can go. So there we have it. Ready to go in the car, except for I gotta touch up my uh, paint job paint job a little bit from my scratches. So I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to put the front suspension together. That noise you hear right there is a heater behind the camera there. So First thing I'm going to do is get this bumper put back on the lower control arm before I forget it. multiple nuts down through here. Oop, that's it. No more. Two of them. Now I can put my original nut on top and it won't push back in there. Okay. Hmm. Should go in easier than that. Okay, that's good there. Now this piece. It goes through 
turn this hole, come out the other end, I really don't know what some of this stuff is supposed to be torqued to, so I'm just going to go. I, I read around, I got to keep researching, so I'm going to tighten them up, maybe torque them 80. It seemed like that's where a lot of them were, but I, I'll have to find out for sure and then come back. To me is enough, but there we go. <laughs> All right, just a little bit to help. Okay, you know, I ran it. I seen this got twisted because this nut is tight. So this piece here is going to have to get replaced. It just goes up under and, and it taps into a, um, a multi-port block of metal right there. Anyhow, I don't know what they call it. But, but to get this one off, I think I'll wait till I get the engine out and then I'll be able to get inside and get that because there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to continue to put this all together. You know what? There's a rubber stop right here. There we go. Okay. I think in the upper control arm, this came with the plastic, the ball joint had a plastic piece over it, so I'll take that off now. Whoa. I didn't realize it fit that tight in there. It's going to be a tight fit. She's a tidy. washer and a nut. I'm kind of wondering should the nut go on the inside or the outside? I took pictures of mine. I'll have to go look and see if where they originally were. Just this bottom uh, ball joint. Go right there. You know what? I think I'll just dry assembling most of it until I get the. And then the knuckle and spindle can go on. I never did take, I didn't take them apart, so they go right there. Okay, where's my bolts to them? I guess I could hook this up. There we 
go. Out. Or is these threaded? No, they're not threaded. Okay, and that arm is supposed to curve that way. The ball joint would point upward. That's come it's pointing that way. Hopefully I can move it back. Yep, there we go. All right, so now I can get nuts on them and crank it on up. Make sure you put the, the castle part pointing down. The cotter pin goes between those. Uh-oh. Did I make a mistake here? Uh -oh. Might have. Let's take this off again. This is good that I'm dry fit and everything. All right, remember, first that ball joint, then this ball joint. Just got to tighten everything up. Okay. I forgot to put the strut rod in right here. It goes in here, it goes in here, and through the frame. And guess what? I can't get it in. So that means... I gotta take this off. Wow, I might have to take everything. There's bushings that goes on this. That's not gonna let it. Here they are. Must squeeze in there. But this one's got to be on this side of that hole. There. But can I get this in? And I cannot. Can you see that? I can't get it in this hole. So I'm going to have to loosen that up so I can pull it out to put it in this hole. My mistake. Matter of fact, this whole thing, the whole nut might have to come all the way off. Still not. It's going to have to come all the way off. Shove that in there. And then put this back on. One nut goes down here.
So. metal plate on and I have no room to get the nut on. If I can get the nut on a little more grip on it. There. Oh nope. Not enough. Fifteen sixteenths. Yeah, not enough room in this place. I can't get to my tools. There we go. Now it's turning. raised it up in the air. So it may not have to be that tight, but see what I mean? It raised it up in the air there. Let's try this again. Ball joint on the bottom first. Ball joint on the top. Uh oh. Oh man, I didn't know this thing was going to be. There we go. Maybe. Shock mounts right here, it goes up through here and into here. The steering arm here. I probably need a new joint there, but I do for right now. It will go on here. Okay. Oh man. This piece will go on like that. All right, as looking as I looked at pictures, I put my nut on the inside, but from what I seen with my pictures, the nut was on the outside. So that's what I'm going to do with this it will turn the lobe so my socket's got to go on the inside and I can't get a socket in there so maybe that's why they had the nut on the outside and the socket would be a hell of a lot faster Alright, let me go look at my picture again. Okay, so let's go back. Let's take the weight off this thing. Take this castle nut off. Yep. The nut was on the outside on mine, so. That's where I'm putting them. Look at that. I got the nut to... 
Now I can. Actually, yep, I gotta go. There, did you see that move? As I was. My low was oh, a little more. Maybe right there. put a torque wrench on it now. Let's get this side switch. Right about there, I think. Yeah. Now all I gotta do is I'll tighten it up there. And I found some on the internet. Let's see, upper control arm bolt 65. Steering knuckle bolts lower and upper. Let's get that lower control arm pivot bolt. Whoa, 145. Here's where it took two. I think I have to get one down here. I hope that's tight enough. Okay. I do have a cotter pin I gotta put through there. Okay. The next piece is the splash plate, which goes right there, like that. Boom! Got it! Got the seal out. I'm kind of comparing the two. Yeah, this one, the new one, looks like it's already got that the seal here in. Looks like it already has this piece in there. Oh yes, I think it does. So first, let's take some grease and uh, put it around in here. And then I gotta pack this bearing with grease. Oh, I gotta get better at it. Okay, I think I can put my rotor on. I'm gonna I'll put some grease around the shaft here. The 
the spindle. Bearings packed in. This is my old bearings. I think I'll, uh, I'm going to use them for now. But it won't be hard to take them out to get new ones in there. So. Alright, so we're ready to put this thing on. Put this bearing in there. Okay, I still can't get but there. Now it went back farther. This thing go in there, goes over there. And my cutter key will go in there. And I can put my cap on. And then there we go. Oh yeah, it's rubber pieces. That probably goes on the top. Top. Going to install these on the top. Okay, the only thing is the brake caliber next. Okay. My old brake caliber, you know, I painted it up, it was looking good, but I couldn't get it on with the two brakes. This has to go back farther, and I couldn't go to get it go back farther. So, but you can see the difference. I mean, it's it has to go flat up against there. So I end up buying some buying some new ones here. So now I can install. Now I can install this thing. Get this in. So there's a small brake pad that goes on that side and my larger it's a longer brake pad will go over on this side uh, oh, let's get that one in there hooks up on there and that one hooks right in there and then I can go ahead and Slide this on the rotor. Ooh. There we go. And I got all new hardware.
to go with it. So I will uh, put this all together now. There we go. There. Okay. Now I did this whole front suspension just so I could get my torsion bar out of this lower rocker arm. But you know what? I've got a lot of body work to do yet on this thing. So this thing's going to get dusty. It's dirty. caught up with me uh, on my videos. After the front suspension's done, this is what I'm working on uh, at this moment. I started this in like September 2017, working on this section of the floorboard that goes underneath, underneath these floorboards that come up. But in October, I think it was the beginning of October, I kind of hurt my back a little and I was out for a couple weeks. Uh, that took out me, you know, for me working on this thing for uh, three weeks or so. Right now it's November uh, 2017, but leaves are falling, so I had leaves to pick up. I'm trying to get the front suspension video out, so sorry for being so late with my videos. They're going to be coming slower now because of you caught up with me. I can't put a video out until I've done something, so, you know. When I get this done, after the front suspension, it'll be this part, and then I'll be going to doing this floorboard finally. This is what I started out to do from the beginning. At least get them replaced, but it leads to one thing to another. But, hey, thanks for watching, though. Keep on watching. Subscribe to me, and I appreciate it. Thank you.